All right, so today I'm here with? Uh, my name is Gabriel. On team? 1323 uh, Madtown Robotics. Based out of? We're in Central California. Is, uh, the town is called Madera, California. Now, how have you done in your regionals before this point? So before this point, uh, so our first regional, we did pretty well. You know, wearing first, won that one. We did lose one match out of the 16, so, you know, that was okay. Or I believe it was 16, honestly, I don't even remember. Uh, and then Monterey, which is our next event, Monterey Bay Regional, we got perfect for our ORP, won every match, and then went on to win that one as well. So. Have you raised up the judges well so far? Yeah, pretty, I'd say, yeah, pretty well. Gabriel the Rizzler. So, next up, what advantages does your robot have other teams don't? All right, so the main advantage that our robot has that other teams don't is the fact that it's able to hold more than one game piece. So if you could come ahead, uh, go ahead, come right over here. You can see we call this system here the tunnel system. We're able to hold up to three cubes simultaneously in this mechanism. So in the game manual, it says that we are allowed to hold more than one game piece in your community zone. So we have this. We can actually do hold... If we hold, let's say we hold three pieces here, if we do the handoff for the co for the cube, it'll come up, stow, automatically queue up another one here, and we, we can actually score two pieces simultaneously in the mid or high, whichever ones the drivers decide, and the lower high run note. So that's probably the main, main advantage that we have from other teams. Your robot looks heavy as hell. How much it weighs? 125, exactly. Go, look at this robot. Heavy looking robot. All right. So you're saying that's like the Holland Tunnel, basically. Yeah. My New Yorkers, I'm trying to translate it for you real quick, all right? And now, how would you say you do community outreach? You give back to the people. All right, so to give back to the people, we do like to show off and showcase the robot. So we have a, a, a city fair every year. So that's during the off season. Uh, we show up to the fair. You know, we, 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 they, we, sorry. Uh, they typically give us. Uh, a small, it's like this, this building, and then we take out the robot, you know, take out, you know, whatever the game pieces are for the year, whatever, and then we showcase the robot there. You know, the, the community really does love us, do love us, and then they come out, you know, see the robot, think it's great, you know, and we also have our own event called Madtown Throwdown. So this event we host personally as a team, and we invite the community to come out and watch that event. So it's almost like a carnival. Yeah, we actually did have a carnival last week to fundraise for Houston Champs, so. They got carnivals, but they ain't no clowns. They serious. Yep. All right. Now, do you consider a hot dog a, ta a taco? See, so, like, I'm a straight Mexican, right? So, like, I love tacos. Hot dogs aren't it for me. I do not like glizzies. Not a fan of the Franks? Nope. Do they scare you? A little bit, you know, when they're, like, Especially the Costco ones that are very thick and long. Nah, not for nah. me. I hate it when the dog's like three inches longer than the bun and you don't know what to do with well, it. I know exactly what you're talking about. You're like, where do I bite? Do I move the glizzy over? Like, where do, where do I bite? Nah, because I knew a buddy that ate a school hot dog. He fell in the toilet. We never saw him again. That is crazy. All right. Gabriel here, everybody. Smart fella, not a fart smeller. So Richie might be a fart seller. All right. See you later, my man. All right. Hey, thank you.